Thank you, Cindy. Cindy. Um, over the next several minutes, I'm going to provide a quick overview of ArcGIS Quick Capture and how it integrates with the CityWorks platform. All right. All right. So for those of you unfamiliar, ArcGIS uh, Quick Capture was created specifically for field teams that need to collect data while on the move. Um, this could maybe be done from a moving truck, off-road vehicle, or even from the air in something like a helicopter. Um, intended uses include aerial surveys, monitoring vegetation encroachment, asset inventories, and the example we're going to take a look at today, emergency management response. It has a very minimalistic user interface, and it allows users to capture location, field conditions, and even um, images and you know, pictures without interrupting uh, the primary task at hand. So um, with the integration to CityWorks, users can access data immediately in ArcGIS and push new activities directly to CityWorks while teams are still in the field. This eliminates time spent manually processing field data and reduces human error from in inaccurate transcription. Um, we're gonna leverage, we leverage, uh, for this integration that we threw together here, um, it, we leverage the existing integration between CityWorks CrowdSearch Reporter um, and uh, which uses our CityWorks Service Request API, our webhooks, and also Python scripts that are available on GitHub. So, okay, so let's take a look at what, oh, I'm back here. Okay, we gotta get the slides. All right, so there we go. So how does this actually work? So it starts with a user uh, creating a new report in the Quick Capture app. Um, they can add an image, they can add any ad additional information that's required by how the app was configured for that, for that use case. And then the final step, uh, they can view it, make sure the location is correct, adjust the location if needed, and then quickly uh, click send. In the background, a scheduled task is running, um, a Python script that has a configuration file associated with it that takes that information, packages it up, and using the CityWorks Service Request API, pushes that, uh, that uh, request into CityWorks. So a new request is created in CityWorks with all that information. That's one direction. But this is a two-way integration. So when a, in CityWorks, if a user then updates that service request, um, makes a status change, for example, that can be caught by CityWorks Action Manager um, which says, hey, this just happened to this specific request. Let's go ahead and fire off this webhook that's associated to um, this action. And then using the ArcGIS REST API, that report is then, um, or that information is, in, in this case, a status, is updated in that record um, back in either ArcGIS Enterprise Portal or your ArcGIS Online account. All right, so that's, so now that we've taken a look at how, how it works and what it is, let's actually take a look at the integration itself. So if you can provide me access to share my screen. There we go. And all right. So this is the ArcGIS Quick Capture um, project page. And what we did and, and what you all can, can easily do is you can start with creating a new project. And you can start from an existing layer, again, in, either in your ArcGIS Online or your Enterprise Portal account, or start from a template. I chose to start from a template, and uh, you see there's a number of templates already provided. And the nice thing about starting from a template, it already they give you the you know, a number of observation codes and stuff like that already um, prepackaged and, and the form already going. So we're going to look at this urban search and rescue um, template. So that's this guy right here. So if I go ahead and open this up, what you'll see is this is basically the form as it comes in. Um, you can add different groups, and so each one of these boxes is a group or you can also add buttons. Once you uh, do that, you have a, a settings and a configuration panel here, so you can maybe change the layers that you're referring to, change the map that's being tied to it, um, add some project details, and set up things like project user input, which is um, something that we've configured in this, re in this example um, as a, uh, for to capture the um, name or the email address of the person submitting or, and using the app. Each one of these buttons can then also be configured for appearance and the data that's connected to it. In this case, we're just using that in initial file that was created um, when, when we used the template and it, it's pre-populated with some, some uh, attributes um, that are taking this information right off the device um, that, you're, that you're using. 
And then down here, you'll see the observation type. And the observation type is uh, one to basically becomes a one-to-one -one relationship with the um, service requests that you have configured in, in CityWorks. And then, you know, we're going to pass some comments, the reporter email, and some other additional information. So this is the project uh, explanation page or the how you set up the project. Okay, and here is the app itself. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run this app on my uh, phone. So I'll click the um, Urban Search and Rescue um, workspace. I'll add that project user input as my oops email address. And once I get that put in, all right. And now I'm logged in, you see that, and that, and that email address is gonna get associated with every report that I create. So in this case, we're gonna do a quick animal hazard um, issue. And so you can see that I've had photos turned on so I can add a photo. And oh, there's our animal hazard, lemur in jail, and say done. And then some additional comments, um, add animal. I'd be able to spell and click say done. And now in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little one indicating that the that I have a report left to send on my device. I can see the location there and click the hit send. And that sends the um, the uh, the new report um, into the layer, the, the feature layer um, in your ArcGIS online or portal again. And then this is where the script is picking picking it up and passing it over to CityWorks. All right, so now let's take here, now we're in CityWorks. Um, this is the respond application where we have a dashboard set up um, and you can see um, the number of open requests, new reports as, as, a, as a count widget or as in a list here and also a location on the map. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this dashboard and we should see that five go to six and there is the new report that came in. I can view that report either from clicking on this um, count widget or I can simply sort here. Here's my new animal hazard. I'll select and open this, this, uh, this report up. And it opens my service request page where you can see the image that I attached, the comment that I made, the creator information that got passed. And if I go to my um, customer calls, that's where the, the email um, that the, the project user input field that was associated with this would get populated. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and update the status to open and then save this uh, report. And now that, that's where the webhook fired and it should have updated the actual um, report in, there's my new report right there. And we'll open this uh, table, expand this and quickly view all of my records. Oops, show high columns, show all. And scroll over and it will be at the bottom. And there's my new record with the status of open. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the whole quick capture to CityWorks um, integration. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Music